What's going on everybody? PSA order showed up. Now this one's a little bit different because it is ultra modern, but the date they entered it's in, 16 April. I mean, we jumped from my like 15 March to a 16 April. How it happened? No idea. Not going to complain because, hey, it's good getting stuff back from PSA. So overall, some of this stuff I had ideas was going to nine, and I'll talk about that. Um, other than that, let me think here. There's been a few shockers in here, but hey, Ultra Modern, you take a shot at it. Again, this is all pre-Dream Crusher, the microscope. Um, a lot of it was done by eye with my uh, hand magnifier. All right, starting off, Lubob Flashbacks 9. Some uh, this is some of this stuff will go in the store. Some's going to DC. Great this too, Sean Murphy. My hopes was the Lou Bob would somehow squeak a ten, but Sean Murphy Auto nine. This will be something that'll go out to DC land because I just don't know anybody collects him. <laughs> this I was figuring to be a nine. I was hoping it wouldn't be an eight, but just because the black border, this is like the '86 tops designs. You guys know. Nine on a Ripken. This will be in a store. And yes, I am loading the store up. Uh, hopefully by the time this video posts, all this stuff will be in. All right, let's move along here. We're just going to grab a whole stack here. Because all these 2021 Topses did horrible. Joe Adele. Tops Rookie. Nine. Going to D.C. Rainbow Foil, 8. I was thinking 9 on this, but... And the hopes is that this guy would do something and 9 would shoot it up way in value down the road. But as an 8, I still have the gold foil out there, so hopefully that one does better, but it'll go DC. Both Pache's, 9. Er, there we go. You guys probably see my... Oh, I can kind of see my phone going off. This I was happy about. The only one to tend. Oh, yeah, I take it back. There's another 10 in here. This is the Griffey SP. Um, I know a lot of guys are Griffey collectors out there. Be surprised. I, I don't want to say what the value is on this because I saw one a while back, and I'm guessing these probably went up. But pretty cool. It'll be in the store. This I will go in the store because I know some Cardinals guys, especially James. Uh, Dylan Carlson, 86, 35th, 9, and then the uh, base 10. Those will both go in a store. Really cool card from Hoops, the high voltage Morant, 9. One of the ones you were hoping, you know, would be a 10 on to it. But I'll show you. Okay, down here. This is what I knew. I have a lot of stuff marked on sheets when I look at stuff. Because I was playing with how much can I get away with. So, nine. Courtside Giannis, ten. Pretty sure this is probably going to go into the store for somebody. Super happy on this one. The Silver Hoops Edwards 10 was not expecting this. I was really expecting a 9 on this. I cannot remember. I know it's out of 199 if the last one did two or 300 now. I, I'm more wanting to say 3, but it could have been 2. But still really good when you're talking ultra modern. Only would be better if it had been a red back. So really happy with that. It'll either go in the store or my slabs. Is regular tend Wiseman nine. That'll go DC Lamelo nine. But with way everybody wants Lamelo's at these shows, I'm just gonna put in a store. If not, it'll just go me to one of the shows. Halliburton nine. Perfect timing for Burrow 10. This will be on my slabs. The link you guys know is always on the website. Eight on this one. Kind of shocking. Don't know. They must have found something that I missed onto it. 
Again, was done to microscope, so DC land. Herbert introductions, nine, DC. Nine on this one for absolute. That's definitely DC. I think these are still doing like 60, 65 bucks. So two more tend. Happy on that with Herbert's. Everybody's forgetting about good old Herbie Land right now. And I like this card a lot just from the way it looks. But it's the, from Contenders, the Rookie of the Year Contenders, Herbert 10. This a while ago when I looked one of these up because I was praying mine would come back as a 10. Uh, was going for around 100 bucks, So not bad uh, with the insert set. With all the coloring that goes along the edges, it's going to be very, very hard, especially the Contenders packs. So pretty pretty excited to get that back as a 10, too. So not really that bad overall. Um, stack will go in the store. If it's not in there, check my hit on top. I think it says graded cards. It'll take you to the My Slabs page. Uh, if you got an account, it's free to sign up to get a buyer's account. You can either purchase there or email me say, hey, can you push that to the store? And I always will. This stack going straight to DC. Uh, he has a big contest going on for a huge giveaway. I think top 15 people for cash money for stuff. It's long, long thing on to. It's basically 40 cards, and then uh, every 5,000 you sell, you a spot an entry into it. So I figured, what the heck, get rid of a lot of my stuff that's been hanging around. Maybe hit for 250. Maybe hit the big one, 10 grand. Who knows? But at least to get this stuff moved out of the way um, and start looking for some more submissions. I don't think we're going to have another PSA reveal for at least two to three weeks. I have one in assembly. It's been in assembly for about a week or so. Um, the economies are just been in grading forever. All the modern, it seems, has like gone to a standstill. It's really weird. And I think I only have two, three, three ultra moderns left. The one's in assembly. A big one has like 115 cards, and I think a 35 that we hurry up and slammed them out before they shut down. So, see what we can do. Um, try and hopefully those come back for some more reviews. I mean, I know it's been a lot of reviews here, or review, reviews, <laughs> reveals here recently. And guys, don't forget to check out the bullpen. He has one I mailed out today to him. He has two big ones coming back today into orders. And I think that's all he has coming because he got his regular order already back in. So make sure you guys you guys know the bullpen is CVC. He changed his name. Two N's in the word pen. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, everybody. Appreciate it. And I will catch you guys next video.